Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've got a special guest with me again today. Say hello, Maisie. Hello. <laughs> We're going to do a bit of a collaboration. So, um, I've got 365 days of art. And I've got 365 days of creativity, but I do have that one at home, but I don't bring it with me today. <laughs> so we're going to work on this together, and then every so often we'll come together and show what we've done? Yeah. Should we do it that way? I've got yeah. this one for my I might do a few days. process pages. We haven't yeah. got time left today to do a process yeah. page now with you doing it at the same time. Mm. I, You got me that one before, and then I got this And then one you for got that birthday. one, yeah. And I hasten to add that I love Annie. I haven't written that on there myself. It was Macy that actually know. did that. <laughs> I've done it with this. Don't actually, um, yeah, the ones I've done. So what have you done yeah. in yours? I haven't done any. You haven't done any. <gasps> oh, what do you want to do oh, on there? Oh, they're now, different. They've got circles around it. Yeah. Oh, it has feeling swipe. Oh. They, they're the types of the pages. Oh, that's a quite nice idea. Can you hold it up to the camera? So instead of just, in the old one, you've just got the numbers yeah. like this. And you just have to cross them off. And this yeah. one has like the circles and like the meanings of the colours. So if you want something, if you so, want to feel... Say, feel calm, the first one Well, oh, pick page, a calm one then. Page four. Let me, let me do number Let's four. see what they Number four is add designs to the snakes. You could use oil pastels and scratch scales into colour. Do you know what I would do? It's one of those clips that I've given you. Yeah. Put it on here so that you can... Yeah, because... Because you're going to want to find that yeah. page. Um, I've got some um, other clips you might like for that as well. Here, look. You might like... And then I could just open it. On yeah, the then you'll know exactly where you're looking. Look, you might like some of these as well, look. Oh, yeah. There's these with fruit and things on. They're like paper clips. Ice cream. Little. Yeah. There's a smiley face one. It'll be handy in your wet the journal thing as well. A smiley face. <laughs> Donut one. Oh, I love that one. I'm going to choose a page to do next. Can I have this one? Yeah, go for it. Cactus. Good choice. So, what have I done so far? I'm going to have it um, poking at the top. Yeah, they look nice when they've got bits of paper out, don't they? Yeah. And the paint. Cactus poking up. That looks lovely. That looks really cute, it doesn't it? And then you'll always be, be able to find your contents yeah. page. Oh, well, I've no one. idea what that one is that I've just done. Mm. That must have been number one. Number one. Number one. So, because that look nicer from the outside, won't it? Put it like that. Yeah, do it like that. Oh, do you know, it's so long since I went into this, I've completely yeah. forgotten. So, that's number one. Number two was turning paint splodges into animals. It's good how um, in it there's like materials you can use and it tells you what ah, type yeah. you want. And in the bottom of the pages, on this book, it gives you tips. Oh, in the bottom. yeah. So what's that tip? Um, this one's to create a colour wheel and it says you may like to refer back to this colour wheel when you are completing other activities. It provides a useful ref reference when considering your palette choices. Yeah, yeah. That's so. a really good answer. That might be another one you'd want to put yeah. a paper clip on, in it? And then, yeah, yeah good idea. Do you use and it then you, you can make your own on that one. Yeah, good idea. Oh, I see now we need another day. <laughs> We're actually at the end of a day playing with jewellery and we just thought we'd quickly start this yeah, and now we need another whole day don't we? If <laughs> you've um, one of the Junior B box, this is some of the things we made. So we've had a good day haven't we? Yeah um, and there's goals on this one, creative goals, so you write a goal and then if you've completed it you tick it. Oh, oh there's a lot more in this one yeah. isn't there than, it's, it's different again. I don't know if this, should I have a look if there's any other one? 65 days of drawing. <gasps> Oh, I might enjoy that. I love drawing more than um, anything, really. If I could pick one. Oh, there's also 365 days of art in nature. <gasps> They're all of the ones you could have. To get the, yeah. So next time you, need you come, to get the other we, need to, <laughs> we need to have done at least a couple more pages each to show. Yeah. We should do a process one together so we can film it as yeah. well. We'll do that. We will do that. Um, page three. Drawing outside. Oh, this is about drawing outside and doing a, yeah. a landscape. Four was fill the page with swatches of colour. So I'd use different paints and I pens. I can remember doing that in my other one as well. And I done yeah. metallic pens in my Oh, nice. Pretty. Yeah. Have you done the fishes? 
Yours. No, not yet. I like that one, continue the pattern. Oh yeah, that's quite nice. That's quite therapeutic. I bet that comes under the calm. Yeah, because it's the purple colour. Yeah. Oh, and like you've got a splodgy fill in the animals one, so a bit like, oh, yeah. it's a bit my, like my blobby yeah. animals. Let's I quite see. enjoyed the fish. Yeah, it's the calm one. <laughs> Draw someone you know from memory. Can you guess who that is? That's that picture. What, what was in the Reckless Journal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, basically. Me when I was a clown. This one was draw a collection of vegetables, and I'm bored by that one, so I haven't done it yet. Mm. This, this one was like adding a details bit like on the, the Olympic feathers. rings, and you've got to continue oh, yeah. the circles. What it says up there. I like the ones where you just continue the patterns because you can yeah, try out all your different. Yeah, and you can try out all your pens. And yeah, stuff. yeah. And there's that one. What Explore that? using different materials. Let your mind switch off as you can just enjoy the process of process of selecting colours and materials to use. Try all pastels. Coloured pencils, watercolour pens, and coloured paper. Well, I like so, the idea of coloured yeah, paper. You can different. also like test your pens on that yeah. one as well. Yeah. That one's under calm as well. Yeah. All the good ones. It's the sort of thing you just sit and doodle around yeah. when you're maybe half watching something on yeah. Netflix or something, wouldn't you? Oh, this was patches oh, drawing good. features on faces. That was What's quite fun. What's in the jar? Food, butterfly, something unexpected. Oh, what are you going to put in the jar? I don't know. You can do that. Mm. What what's red? What what's not, what one's red? Feel energetic. Mm. Mm, yeah. I suppose that's because it's getting your mind working. Yeah. Using only this palette of colours create an underwater scene. Oh that's quite good. Then the tip is you may need to mix paint to achieve the exact colour in the palette. You mm. can also paint you can also paint coloured paper before cutting it so that it's the colour you are after. Mm, so you'd have to find some way of getting and those colours. And you've got to try and make and it then... into an underwater scene. That's quite... That's quite tricky, actually. That's it, under energetic as well. Yeah. Quite good. If you're never, you're never out of ideas, if you just want to jot down some ideas, it, you could write it down on that piece of paper. Oh, yeah, it good idea. You're never out of ideas. And then the, it says reflect at the bottom. I can get it in the camera. There. <laughs> reflect. And it says... Yeah. It's useful to do this activity every couple of months so you'll get a chance to revisit in mm. it later in the book. Good yeah, idea. Then... So it'd be another one to bookmark, wouldn't it? Yeah. Maybe one of the things we should do is make our own like decorative paper clips and stuff yeah. to go on it. That'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? I like the day. Well, that was an easy one. Find a pattern. I've just stuck a load of stickers on there and then a piece of paper on there. <laughs> that was a quick one, though. That was calligraphy strokes, which I just practiced with my pen. Yeah. Some of them were really time consuming and others not so much. That was just filling the page with loops. Yeah, that's and quite that's quite easy. Hey, chill. And you get like a line at the top where you put the date what you've done it. Yeah. It comes with I like how that, yeah. I like the um how that's shiny and the rest yeah. is matte. Actually, the cover isn't quite nice. Like some of it's shiny. Mm. And this is the same actually. The, yeah. the splodges the, the are shiny. The texture feels really smooth. Yeah. Nice. This one's turn this, turn these colourful blobs oh. and cacti into and succulents. Add detail like exotic flowers, pots, insects, and birds. Oh, I'd Perhaps enjoy the that. the plants are in a rock garden, and you draw the surrounding. Oh, pebbles you could do the little plants. hills and pebbles. Yeah. Oh, that is a really good one. That's I'd enjoy that. One, yeah. That's in the this garden. one's fun. This is draw the different shaped fairy lights. Oh yeah, well, I, I think I've started fun. doing that. What well, made you smile nice. today? Create concept ca concentric. That's it, concentric. Shapes in the squares below, so you can mm. like loads of different patterns and shapes. Do you know what concentric means? No. It means when like you know like those, it's yeah. it's the same shape but it's but getting smaller and smaller and, and it's going one inside the other. So they're oh. so concentric circles would be all lined up together so in the end they look like a tunnel, you know. Oh yeah. Mum's done that with hearts before. She's just done a big heart and then just got going smaller. Yeah, yeah, so that, yeah, same, same sort of thing. I don't know if I'm explaining Create that very well. around the runners. I wouldn't like that one. Sometimes, if there's one you really don't like but you've got to fill the page, yeah. I just find a page in a magazine and stick it over it. Yeah. Something that's appropriate. It doesn't matter, yeah. it's your book, you do what you like. Yeah, but yeah. I think, because we've probably waffled on long enough, I think we should be doing something now. Yeah. <laughs> what, should, what, what was that first one you looked at? It would be quite quick, page four. Uh, I forgot what it was. It was a snake one, wasn't it? I, I never heard of this before you told me that it was a rubber. <laughs> I thought it was just blatant. 
but essentially a rubber. It's a putty rubber or a kneadable, kneadable yeah. eraser. You could just play with it if you if it's because it you can if the teacher tells you you can just <laughs> say it's a rubber because it's true. They're tiny sharpies. <laughs> tiny sharpies. Macy enjoys snouting in my craft room. <laughs> It's nice for me to have somebody to play in here with me, really. Those are amazing colours. They're the ones that feel like lipstick. There, now what are they called? Art um, crayons. They're new to me. I got them in a schooler box, I think. Mm. Art crayons. And they're a bit like gelatos or yeah. things like that. Distress what, crayons. So should, I use, like, should I use these? You can use any of them. Yeah. Um, I right. wish I could find those old pastels so you could try what they're suggesting. Yeah, and so it's really annoying me that I can't remember where they are. We can't find the oil pastels, so I'm just going to use these. Use gelatos and see There's how we get on with them. Colors of them. There's a whole range. And you could try scratching the scales in, and yeah. then if you decide you want to water activate them, you'll just yeah. lose the scales, but you can draw the scales in yeah. over the top after, so it'll be fine. Should um, I do all unusual colours? Do whatever you like, it's your book. There's also these. This one's a nice colour. It's just like a coral sort of colour. I'm gonna use one. Of them. I'm gonna use some of these on it. Ooh. Some of these art crayons. They're, They're beautiful colours. Those. See, this one. This is the purple. It feels one. lovely. It feels like you're drawing with lipstick. Oh my god, it does. It does, doesn't, doesn't it? it? I knew you'd be surprised by that. It really. It's just like. Oh, oh. Yeah. And then if you try smudging it with your finger, and then I'll get you a pot with some water in and try that as well. Oh. It does actually feel like you're drawing with lipstick. It does feel like it's your It really does. Stick, it? Yeah. Well, they're really bright colours as well. And they're so vivid. Do you try? You try like dip your finger in a bit of water and try okay. smudging them now. But I'm not going to do it with the book because I don't. Yeah, want to. move your book out of the way. Oh. Good, isn't it? All of them together. And they'll probably go a bit muddy if you put them all together. I'm going to try it. Though. But do it anyway. Yeah. yeah. If you looked at your colour wheel, oh, so here's your nice. colour wheel. Where did we mark your colour wheel? Is it there? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. See so if you look like there, because you that's a bit put that's that colour, isn't it, more or yeah. less? And that where you put got that purple and yellow, so purple and yellow, they're exactly opposite on the yeah. colour wheel. So if you put something opposite on the colour wheel together, yeah. they'll go muddy. So yeah. if you try mixing them together, you'll get like a brownie kind of colour. That's what will happen. Oh, hey. Oh, I think you should just do that on your snakes. I think it'd be amazing. Yeah. No mind scales. Who cares? <laughs> Things, but if you were to, if you tried going over that with a pen, yeah. As it is, it wouldn't like it because it's all greasy. But once yeah. you've water activated it and it's dried. If you then yeah. put a pen over the top, it'll be alright. So you could draw your mm. scales on if you yeah. wanted. It's up to you. Right. Oh, you do you do that, and I'm going to start deciding what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to like do that at the top, and then I'm going to go down with the water. Mm. So do you need a brush, or are you going to be able to do it with your finger? What do you think? Uh, probably a brush. There's brushes over there if you want to grab one. If you let it dry, you can do another layer over later if you want to. Yeah. I don't know. Yay, it's got work. It looks like <laughs> muddy from far away, but it actually it looks a bit muddy on the camera. But yeah. But in real life, real, you can see the real rainbow like, effect. Yeah, you can tell that it's more like pinkish than yeah. muddy. I really like it. It actually does feel like you're drawing with lipstick. It really does. It's amazing. They're lovely to use, aren't they? Yeah. Some pink pens. I love this colour.
of doing all my cross-offs differently. That was your idea yeah. to do that. Rather than just doing That was one of them. One. I think I'd done that metallic pen for a banana. Ah, yes. The banana and the fruit bowl. It was one of the fruits. Mm -hmm. um, what should I do for the last colour? What, yellow? Mm, yellow. That sounds like a good idea. Mm. Colourful. Is that one dry yet? Yeah, so you could put patterns over that now if you wanted to. Well, it feels nice as well, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's never filled. <laughs> one, two more snakes to do. Oh, well, we've still got 20 minutes. <gasps> it's not long. I'm just going to put the date on there before I forget. It's almost like a little diary as well, isn't it? You'll be, you'll be looking at this one day when you're an old lady, <laughs> thinking, oh, remember that day. Yeah. I think I can still get that that YouTube video we made. <laughs> I bet I can get that in some old archive. <laughs> <laughs> you know in the days when we used to have YouTube. <laughs> and then you'll you'll find the archive and you'll project it into the air or something. Yeah. God, the thought some of the things that you've got now, like different. you can do with your phone now, to me that yeah. would have been when I was your age, that would have been like space age. Yeah. Like it when I when I'm older, it'll probably there probably won't really YouTube probably this might still be a thing, but people might loads of people have been starting to get like projectors and stuff. Really? I think that's what they're called. And oh. you've got like the board and it reflects onto it. Like oh. from the camera thing. I think that's what they're called. So that, to me, that's quite an old-fashioned thing, a projector. It must be a modern version of it or something. Yeah. With paint pens, when they're dry, is you can go one over the top of the other. Because yeah. basically, they're acrylic paint. Yeah. So if you went over the top of the that, pen. you could you could do stripes of that colour on top of that colour. Do you yeah. see what I mean? Which could look quite good. Next time I come, I'm just going to do the rest of that one and that one. Put in some patterns, yeah. maybe as well. Yeah. And I just covered up half a page in dots across the oven and started doing some fairy lights. Yeah. We're going to say goodbye now because um, Macy's got to got to go home for a tea. Um, but we will come back another time and make this an ongoing yeah. kind of collaboration. I think, won't we? It'd be quite yeah. fun. And we'll just we'll just do little flip throughs and maybe little short process videos and yeah. show you what we're playing with. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. And um, we'll say goodbye. Bye. Bye. See you again soon.